Well, I'm Doug. Saddle Rose for Game Shampoo, and welcome back to the Pokemon Paizo Let's Play. It's time to continue with Mount Moon and try to finish the area. Things look bad. I only have Char, who's level 22. At the end of the last episode, I used my last repel, so I have 50 steps. Where, if a Pokémon is less than my level, there might be a range ban I don't know about. I won't get into fights. It's gonna give me some breathing space, but Char has 13 HP. Plenty of power points, though. I did just save. But yeah, I have no idea how far I've got left to go. So I'm taking my very best shot to get out of here with that Repel active. Anytime I get into a fight, it is sudden death. If Char is boned, I'm boned, and we're back to square one. Youngster. Okay. Also get ready for a lot of the beep. That beep's gonna be going on for a long while. If I don't one hit KO things, I've got a very good chance of going down. Wow. I didn't think it'd only be two minutes in. Alright, stacking up the things to make sure I can't attack. I can respect that. Alright, that's surprising. Use toxic, didn't affect. Hurt itself. Poisoned, if I don't get the kill this turn, I'm dead. Wow. Use Krabby. No. Well, ladies and gentlemen, everyone in between, we're going back to square zero. Char fainted. I'm out of usable Pokemon. I have blacked out. Okay, full restoration, full restoration. Wow. Alright, back in we go. Still got the benefits of that last repel for a little bit. So, gonna be kind of smooth sailing, though I might just want to change how I'm approaching things. So, opposed to my grind approach, I might just want to uh, take a more serious approach. Where I don't have something I'm trying to grind up, and instead I've got an active fighter. Wow, Pimp Daddy, I am disappointed in you so frickin' hard, it's not funny. Like, ridiculous levels of disappointment. But you'd be able to at least take a hit. But uh, no, no. You're supposed to be cooler than this. You're supposed to be better than this. Onyx? I don't think I've encountered an Onyx yet. I kinda wanna catch it. So, confusion, which shouldn't, like, outright kill it. Ooh, Rock Slide. That's actually a very powerful move. It's just got garbage accuracy. Yes! Put her to sleep and immediately woke up. There we go. So, now you're actually seeing me put a little more effort into catching something. Sleep, paralysis, poison burn all increase my chances to catch something. It's not going to be anything great. I'm just changing that 
I to an Why? level Psy up more. Well, I'll level Psy up more in safe encounters. Or at least as safe as I can manage. There's always going to be a risk. Ah, I can't believe I lost to a trainer on like the third or fourth floor. Wow, it is really trying the thing. Right! Those moves got tweaked. Pretty sure their power got reduced for it. And, uh, punch! That's bad for Psy. Dig. That's right, dig functions like a reusable escape rope. Ah, I can't believe I was forgetting that. And I know that too. I don't need escape ropes when I have dig. If I have dig, I can just get out for free. It cost me anything. Even if the move itself is out of power, I can still use it in the overworld mode, and I'm good. Hmm. Yeah, since I'm just trying to get through, opposed to grind, makes a fair difference. Oh, wait, let me think of one over. Let's see. Now, with most of my Pokemon in their 20s, I'm feeling pretty confident. And I need diversity in my lineup right now. So, yeah, as much as possible. Run, 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 run. Unless I'm sure I can one-shot them. And avoid being one-shot in return. Ah, trainers have once again become a minor object of fear. But hey, we'll see how all this goes. Ah, no repels, so I gotta do this the old fashioned, just run from every encounter. I think we can actually take down the Onyx. Oh, it was in later generations that started happening. Earthquake in later generations Pokemon can hit a Pokemon that is using Dig. You know, you're in the ground. However that works. Oh no. I just know there are ways it works. And he's the best bet to actually just grind experience off anything that can explode. Between Sandy being ground type and having dig, that puts her in a great position to do that sort of stuff. Actually, I might want to uh, move dig up to my first move slot, if I'm honest. Okay. Okay. Okay, one shot this Rhyhorn. And actually, yeah, let's move Dig. 
Dig swaps with slash. There we are. Dig slash sand attack. Sand attack is genuinely useful, especially in Kaizo, since anything that changes the chances of something hitting me in my favor, so known as missing, is a very good thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm going the right way. Run. Voltorb's hmm. got a couple moves it likes to use in front of explosion. Well, let's find out. But it's gonna go down if I hit it with dig at this point. Here I am grinding up a ground type move, and the next gym I know I'm going up against is a water gym. Water, which will absolutely destroy a ground type. But, you know, I've got Matt. Might want to level up Matt by going across the Nugget Bridge and all. Ah, wow. Okay, I'm a lot farther in for having lost than I was expecting to be. Hmm. Alright, Sandy, dig. So either I get experience and I save power point by dodging the self-destruct move, or I expend one power point and get a kill. Oh, wait. That is an old trick in my back pocket I might want to consider. Doesn't affect Zandy, and Zandy would have been immune anyway. I might just want to add a second ground type. I can. It's just really, really early to do that. Ooh, I'm running low on the... Uh, dig. Active Slash will do the job. Got a high critical chance. Nice. I'm just a little more likely to take a hit in the process. faster than Sandy, which is surprising. Well, Sandy's not as fast as a uh, Voltorb. Voltorb are like top 6 to 10, if I remember right. Oh, okay. Evolution. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna... <laughs> yes! Sand Slash! Alright, what benefits do I- Oh! That was dumb. That was genuinely dumb. Well, you know what? Getting everyone back to full power, full health, not a bad thing. There we go. Alright, so Pimp Daddy's back in the fight. Stats. Alright, Sandy. Not bad. Okay, honestly, the uh, power boost from evolving ought to help immensely. Uh, let's see. Andy now goes down over there here. There we are. Pink Daddy, Sai, Nita, Matt, Sandy, Char. <sighs> no, 
No. I should be focused infinitely more on just getting through here. <laughs> this is Kaizo. This is difficult. That's decent. No, Nita. Yeah, let's throw Nita in front. She's got the raw speed. Hopefully, I'll be able to avoid a lot of the fights. Well, we'll see. Since I accidentally left, it's not like I'm save stating or saving the whole time. Well, I want to try a little for leveling up, if I'm honest. A few more to level 20. Oh, Anita hits level 20. So, Nita's kind of an interesting case. She's ready to evolve at this point because I have a Moonstone. And Nidorina evolves to Nido Queen with a Moonstone. Now, I don't know exactly the changes to the level up list. There's not exactly an overwhelming amount of information for some of this stuff. Just simultaneously great and annoying. I need to do documentation. Which, with a little game hacking, becomes really easy to do. But I'm not at the point where I want to hack the game to that degree to try and figure out things. At that point, I catch things, get a crap ton of rare candies, and then I use that to essentially map out, like, what form gets what at what level. Therein, I use save scumming. Oh, right, just in case I should explain. Save scumming is uh, another way of saying and I'd abuse saves. Either it's an actual save or using a save state where you who create a save, do something, and then you reset that save just before you did the thing. This is useful in games like Fire Emblem, or any game, honestly, that's got a random stat up in play. So, Pokémon, it doesn't actually help, because it's an active progression based on, uh, what is it, determinant values and effort values. I forget if effort values had a different name at this point. But, you know, I explained effort values, or at least brushed on them way back in the start. Hmm, wanna hurt to at least allude. Effort values are these invisible experience points for my actual attributes that my Pokémon get for defeating particular Pokémon. Like, say a Geodude is worth one defensive effort value. So my defense gets this teeny tiny boost that every, I think it's four? I don't know the numbers as well for Gen 1. That for every, like, four uh, effort values, my defense will go up one point. And that can be really helpful to maximize my Pokémon. Ugh, sorry about that. I'm gonna mute that. Hopefully I remember. Well, I'm, I like to review the footage, and I do record the audio separate, so I can see that. There's going to be a moment of silence there. <laughs> I'd rather have a moment of silence or one of my loud sneezes. That look like it peaks, though. I don't like peaking. <sighs> it's one of those bad audio is forever bad things. Mm, it's going to take four double kicks. Okay, it's going to take three. Which 
still cost me two double kicks if Nita survives. Okay, I need to rotate Nita at a first position. Alright, let's see if I can't get the deuce out of here. I'm making pretty good progress. But the high encounter rate mixed with everything else is just making this rough. Which is half the idea, if I'm honest. <laughs> Alright, for now I want confusion over bubble beam for quick access. Right, I really shouldn't try and fight anything I know that can have toxic. Because poison will kill a Pokemon in this gen. Oh, oh, that's right, they can self-destruct and they can poison me. It's like a double negative in terms of actual fighting. And while yes, the double negative generally leads to a positive, in this case, it's like, that's two reasons not to fight. Okay, let's see about just getting farther in than I did previously. Ah, I went up too far. I'm not making a map here, I'm literally just running from my memory. And I am not trying for optimized movement. I really should, though. Alright. Run. Over and down we go. Forced encounter. Alright. Making progress. Making progress. Potentially a quick, easy win. Let's see. Trust it more with Psybeam than Confusion. Alright, that's gonna hit me for normal, but that's only 7 points, so I'm not worried. No singular Pokemon is, like, all that powerful now. It's kind of cool. I appreciate what this game is doing. Hmm. You know what? Let's take a bit of a chance. No. No. No chance taking should be done. I should try and play it as safe as I can. Ah. And there's gonna be a level of risk, regardless. Whew. 18. I like 18. 18 is good. You know what? Yeah, if I've got Sandy in lead, I've got a better chance of just avoiding fights. dig out, I can. Hmm. Running costs me nothing. Anything else has a chance to cost me something. Okay, run does carry a risk of I can't escape, and then I, I'm giving him a free hit. But, using a faster Pokémon gives me a much greater chance to just run away. It's like, my speed and my level are the biggest things which are going to determine whether or not I can escape. And I'm doing everything I can to ensure I can escape. Wow, the encounter rate is showing so hard. Kind of ridiculous. But that's half the idea. 
you a very good chance to grind your Pokemon up. But I'm trying to clear an area, which is a really different experience than trying to level up Mamon. Okay, we're almost back to uh, the farthest point I have reached. Come on, baby. I'll get through this yet. Oh yeah, that's another thing about Paris. It's got eh for defense. I think most of its stats are special. Ah, I have reached my opponent who defeated me last time. Alright, you and me, buddy. You and me, youngster. Zubat versus Sandy, and I've got the level advantage. Slash time. Might be able to one shot him. Yes! One hit KO. Use Krabby. Yes, I will switch. I want that. This is where the greater diversity comes in. Now I'm in a better shape to take on Matt, so I can just go, nope. This is me just winning by overwhelming force, and I love it. Uh, far-fetched is normal flying. Yeah, back to Sandy. I want a far-fetched. One thing I'm considering is doing a far-fetched only run, in all honesty. That'd be fun! It'd be a really different experience. I'd need other Pokémon just to clear stuff, but just using far-fetched... In theory, it works. Wow, they really like giving me multiple paths and just punching me... Uh, essentially struggle in a way. Okay, I think I see the one I want. I have cleared past the point I was before, but not enough. Not a lot of time left in what I consider this episode. Do you need to explore? Alright, Pikachu can now evolve. Eevee can now evolve into a Jolteon. Alright. Alright, I can now evolve two things that fire the Moonstone. And I also know which way to go to make farther progress. Oh wait, further. Further progress. Farther is a measure of distance. Further is more the word I meant. And that was me genuinely spacing out a little. Ah. <sighs> Good times. And your brain just kind of goes, <laughs> Not great when you're doing the Let's Play. Really, that's pretty bad. Ah. <sighs> Slash him. Slash him burn. Alright, let's take on this. Oh, you really shocked me. You're just a kid. Hmm, hiker. Alright, both Matt and Sandy are solid choices. Matt, if uh, he needed to heal, be great here. Sandy, she's got this. Probably gonna one-shot most of them with super effective stab buff, ah, stab buffed moves. Huh. Actually, yes. Let's use Matt a little. Matt being grass poison has an advantage against a straight up fighting type. Because poison resists fighting. 
Alright, yeah, let's go for the stab bonus. Hmm. Yeah, I need to do a little research to just see, like, what's going from what in this generation. Oh, that, that just got real good for me. Alright. Absorb. Just stick a straw in them. And that's fully healed. Cost me one power point. Victory. Okay. Let's finish this. No, we totally should. Alright, so two ways. I don't know why it's rechant like that. <sighs> but it's time for me to call this episode. Made a lot of progress. My team's looking pretty solid. I've got some serious spikes in terms of, like, level. Got some which are really fragile. I got some which are really good. Yeah, let's try and get a couple more people into the 20s. But for now, hey, I am, um, Doug. Side of Rose for Game Shampoo. Please like, comment, and sub to this channel. And hey, toss a coin for your gamer, and I will see you all next time. Bye!